Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this beautiful rainbow mandala puzzle. This is by the Turkish brand Magnolia Puzzles. It's called Mandala of Life and it's by the artist David Matto. By now I'm sure all of you have heard about the devastation caused by the big earthquake in both Turkey and Syria. So I thought let's do a Turkish puzzle brand. Both Turkey and Syria are a big part of our puzzling community and a lot of the puzzles that we get to enjoy are made in Turkey. If you want to know how you can help out with the relief effort in both Turkey and Syria, I'll leave some information and resources in the description box below, so be sure to check those out. So let's take a closer look at the puzzle image. So it's actually a square and it's 1023 pieces. And interestingly, uh, Magnolia have a difficulty rating level. So here it says difficulty level uh, three stars out of five. So I guess I'll see soon enough whether it is that difficult or not. Um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful sort of classic, your classic rainbow colors going around the square. So yellows, greens, teals, blues, purples, reds, oranges. So yeah, very bright and pretty. Um, but it's sort of an interesting design that's going on. It's not your classic rainbow gradient, I guess. We've got all these sort of divided sections here, and it actually looks a bit like a stained glass window, but up close, it's, it actually seems to be like tree trunks um, and lots of little, yeah, lots of tree trunks and branches and things all kind of coming together in the center to form like a bit of a canopy and this sort of rainbow kind of star. And then I guess the light, the white section in the middle is like the light of the sun coming through. I mean, that's just one interpretation. It's a bit abstract and arty, so I guess it's yeah, open to the puzzler's interpretation. But yeah, I just think it looks really gorgeous and I think it'll definitely be very stunning once it's put together. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, and I guess, yeah, it does look a little bit challenging because we have a lot of little dotty bits here, which seem to be maybe leaves. Um, like, yeah, this sort of dotted texture and all these like little branches and lines overlapping. So yeah, that could make it a little bit tricky. So yeah, I guess I'll find out. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I mean, I really love Magnolia puzzles. They have really great quality. So I'm sure uh, I'll get to experience that with this one as well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think let's get into some puzzling.
anyway, just thought I'd pop in to sort of give you a update or progress report on yeah where I'm up to with things. So I think I'm about just under halfway with the puzzle. Sort of done all the yellow, a lot of the orange, uh, and sort of done a lot of the green, so a lot of the lime bright green and started on the sort of turquoise colors. Um, I just randomly decided to pick yellow because I made all these, as you probably saw, I made all these piles of different colors and um, I don't know, yellow just is what called to me, which might have been a mistake because it took a really long time. Um, it was definitely very slow going for the yellow. Things got a bit quick with the orange and so far the green's actually been the quickest part to do. So yeah, I think just because there's a lot more variation in the green, we've got, you know, it's quite, the uh, turquoise area area is quite different than the sort of lime green, but even in the turquoise itself, there's like a lot of variation. We've got like more these sort of emerald darker greens and then a lot of this sort of white up here. Whereas I feel like when we look at the yellow, a lot of it's, you sort of have more this cooler greeny yellow, but then, and this warmer yellow, but within like, this whole this whole section there's a lot of similarity and the same with like this and even like the orange so yeah I think that's why that section was just more difficult and as you can probably see the patterns on the pieces are like very similar throughout and um, yeah like all these trees the trees help obviously like you know um, when you find like the tree trunks or, that obviously gives you a bit of guidance um, but like even with these branches up here and the sort of star shaped branches, it's, it's a bit hard to tell things apart when you're just looking at individual pieces. So yeah, definitely has been quite a tricky gradient to do. Um, yeah, I didn't say how long it's taken. So it actually took me three and a half hours pretty much exactly to get to this point. So quite, I feel for a gradient puzzle, like a 1000 piece gradient or what, 1023 pieces, um, it has been fairly difficult and slow going. Um, but I've been enjoying it like it's still satisfying seeing it come together and as I look at it now it's actually looking really gorgeous like we're getting some of that rainbow central section and it's looking very pretty and yeah it's really nice having all these like sort of this kind of abstract organic design of like I guess yeah all these trees and like this canopy and yeah it's really nice so yeah I think next up I'm gonna continue on with this green and then I'll just pull the box over here Ooh, hello and then I guess I mean I've got my pile of blue and sort of purples here and I kept all the uh just show you Ooh. all the ready oranges in the box um they look a bit intimidating don't they <laughs> so I'm thinking I don't know I mean do I just I guess it's probably logical to just do blue next um and sort of you know follow or like finish the green and then get into the blues and purples and eventually the ready orange I guess it kind of makes sense to follow around the circle but who knows I might change my mind maybe I'll randomly do the purple and it won't really connect to anything I don't know because that purple pile looks a little bit more approachable than this giant blue pile so yeah I don't know um I guess it doesn't matter I guess I'll just see how I feel once I've finished the green uh, uh, I can't pick this up it's very slippery um speaking of like smooth and slippery um I've really yeah I guess I'll give you a quick update on the pieces like I've done quite a few magnolia puzzles now and they're definitely one of my favorite brands I have to say because the surface is just so lovely and smooth just feels really nice but as you can see there's like no glare at all so I don't know how they do this magic where it really feels like it should be shiny but because it's just so smooth but yeah it's just lovely and matte so that's been really really good putting well any of their puzzles together but I guess especially one where you're trying to look at like uh, you know very similar colors and patterns and things like that so yeah very helpful and the fit's been really good um, you can definitely you know pick up sections here and things stay together really well and there's been no false fits at all which has also been extremely helpful for this puzzle because again having such like similar uh, sections of color and like pattern and stuff you know having false fits would be a bit of a nightmare I think so yeah the fact there's been none is very impressive something I always find very impressive with their puzzles that there's usually none or very few false fits yeah so just overall very happy and impressed with it um, but yeah definitely more challenging than I thought 
but still very enjoyable and very satisfying seeing it come together. So I think that's pretty much all from me. Uh, yeah, having a great time. And I'm not sure how long the rest of this is gonna take. I mean, I feel like the blue, I feel like all the sections really might take a long time. So I could be here for another three and a bit hours or longer maybe, we'll see. But I'll update you once I'm done. So I am back and I finished this gorgeous puzzle. Yeah, I really love how it's turned out. It's so colorful and just really like, yeah, uplifting and positive everything I was hoping it would be. Um, but it was a little bit challenging though, a bit more challenging than my, I guess what I'm used to with gradients. So the second half, it did take a bit less than the first half. First half was three and a half hours. This took a bit under three hours. So two hours and 50 minutes. Um, so yeah, all up, including all the sorting, that was the easy bit. Uh, what, what uh, six hours and 20 minutes, I think, about that. So yeah, that's probably a bit closer to what I'd spend on a, I guess, normal sort of 1000 piece puzzle. Whereas like usually, I guess like basic gradients can just be like, you know, three hours, four hours or even less. So yeah, definitely a bit more challenging. I think it was just all these like little sort of I guess leafy dotty kind of abstract patterns and then um, all these like circular lines and branches overlapping made things a bit tricky but the second half definitely was more smooth or 
I guess, like easy going than the first half. Like the first half, definitely the yellows and oranges were really tricky. And then, like I said, partway through, the greens just seemed to go a lot quicker. And yeah, I think I found that sort of even for the blue and purples, they went fairly fast. Um, I think just because like there's with these darker colors, there's like a lot more, uh, I guess, differences. Like, you know, within these sort of circular bits, you can see a lot more white compared to like the yellow sections. It's like a lot harder to see the yellow and white or like the pale yellow. Whereas here it really stands out in these like darker colors or cooler colors. Um, yeah, and I guess I had also just sort of found my groove a bit and figured out, oh right, there's stars here. I mean, I also have this terrible habit of forgetting to look at the box and forgetting that, oh, there's like these little stars and they're actually kind of easy to find amongst all the pieces of a certain color because they have lots of uh, smaller lines like intersecting. So yeah, so once I remember to look at the box, things got a bit easier too. Um, but yeah, and then when I got back to, I guess I did, you saw that I did the sort of reds last. I think that was a little bit tricky as well, but yeah, definitely overall quicker and easier than the first half. But despite the challenges, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I just think it looks really beautiful and, um, and really happy with the quality of the Magnolia puzzle. Like I really enjoy Magnolia puzzles. I really like the smooth surface. It's like completely matte. Uh, so that was fantastic putting this together, made it a lot uh, easier to do. And you can even, I guess, well, I'm not going to, but you could do a puzzle pickup if you wanted, but yeah, just made um, moving sections around easier. So that's handy. And yeah, the pieces just feel, fit really well. And like I said before, no false fits at all either. So very happy with that, especially on a puzzle like this, like some sort of gradient or something where you've got a lot of sections that are very like similar in the way they look having no false fits is like definitely a bonus or definitely what you want, I guess. So yeah, I think I would be going a bit bonkers if I had like lots of false fits in this, but yeah, not a single one. So very impressed with that. And I've definitely found that to be the case with a lot of other Magnolia puzzles that I've done as well. Um, and yeah, just a little bit of puzzle dust. Like if I lift this up again, yeah, it's a little bit, but it's not excessive. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the quality and my experience, I guess. Yeah, overall, very, very positive. Had a great time. I didn't mind that it was a little bit more challenging. It's to me, you know, not a problem. And sometimes I enjoy a bit more of a challenge, um, but I was just putting it together to have fun and to have a beautiful puzzle as the end result. So yeah, really happy. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle design. Is this your type of puzzle? Do you think you'd enjoy putting this one together? And let me know if you've also done Magnolia puzzles and what you think of them. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love and for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.